this should be a fairly quick video. Uh, it took me a day or two to get uh, Ubuntu and uh, ROS2 installed properly on a Raspberry Pi. I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi uh, 4 with 2 gig of RAM in it. Uh, so I'll just go through the steps in this video showing how I successfully installed it and make it reproducible. So I think if you follow the instructions, don't make too many mistakes like I did. Uh, probably only takes an hour or two hours to, to install. So I'll just show you what I did to get ROS2 installed on a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, so first thing is to download the Raspberry Pi Imager if you haven't already installed that. Run the install once it's downloaded. And then you can open up the Imager. Uh, so you want to choose the OS, so I'm going to choose uh, uh, Ubuntu, so choose this other general purpose OS, Ubuntu, and then uh, 20.10 will not work with ROS2, so you need to make sure you're using a uh, 20.4 install, and I'm going to do this Ubuntu server 20.42 LTS version 64 bit. And otherwise, just choose the mass storage device you're going to use. I'm using a 64 gig. SD card. I think you could use a smaller one, but the difference in price doesn't make much difference now. And otherwise, just hit write. And it'll start writing to the SD card, so you've got a Ubuntu image you can install on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes, so I'll just let this run and pick it up on the Raspberry Pi. So initially, you'll have to connect up to your Raspberry Pi with a keyboard and a monitor. It'll first ask for the default uh, password of Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and then uh, it'll ask you to update the password. After that, I do an IP address show, uh, which will show me the current address for the Ethernet Zero interface. Okay, now I've got the IP address. I can do everything remotely through SSH, so you can disconnect the keyboard if you want from the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do a SSH Ubuntu is the user code at 192.168.1.195 which is my Ethernet Zero address. And initially you'll have to say yes so I'm going to work with that and put in the new password. Now I do some housekeeping. upgrade anything that needs upgrading. Looks like we're all on the latest and I'll do an update as well. Okay, we've got enough installed on the Raspberry Pi now to do the ROS2 install. Basically I'm following the, the instructions that's on the ROS2 uh, site. So uh, if you put in Google, put in uh, ROS2 and install, uh, it should take you to this page here. And then uh, select Debian packages. And then uh, just follow through these instructions. So I'll just show you me following through these. Okay, install the locale. It's installed. Now install this, set up the sources. So I'll do that in stages. So first I'll do it, the update. Install curl. Uh, 
I get curl to install the software key. I'm going to add the ROS2 software package. I'll do the apt update. The app and store for the ROS2 or Foxy desktop version. Okay, that took about 13 minutes to install. Uh, I'll just test out that it's working, so I need to source uh, the ROS2, the Foxy setup bash. And if I do a ROS2 to invoke it, okay, I'm getting all the normal responses from the ROS2 command, so it looks like it's all installed. Okay, I want to use gedit. Uh, and I'm also going to be using the X window system, which gedit goes and installs. So let me do a sudo at install gedit. I've got gedit installed, so um, let me set up the export of the dis display variable so that it'll send X windows. Send X windows uh, display to my current machine and then I can do a sudo g edit and I want to update my bash rc file So in here I'm going to add the source statement so that ROS is always, or ROS2 is always enabled uh, for this session. Save that. And now I'm going to install the autocomplete utility. Uh, first I'll make sure I've got Python 3 pip installed. And now I'll install the autocomplete. Okay, I now need to install the Colcon utility. Uh, so that's the make and build utility for building uh, ROS2 packages. So let's uh, use this command.
Now with the Colcon extensions, it includes a script to do autocomplete, which is useful to have. So let's add that to my bash RC. And at the end of my bash RC, I'll add the Colcon autocomplete uh, script to my source. So I should be able to install a, a workspace for ROS2 now. So uh, I'm in my home directory. I've got the tilde there. So I'm going to make dir and I'm going to call it ROS2 workspace. I'm going to change the directory to that workspace and make okay, we look good. Now I'm going to uh, so I go to my ROS2 underscore WS uh, folder. And I'm going to do a Colcon build. So finally, we need to source that new uh, ROS2 workspace. And uh, the file to be sourced is the one in the install directory uh, the setup.bash one so let's uh, run gedit again And we'll go back to the end of our bash rc file and add the source statement for the ROS2 workstation install setup bash. Actually, move it up one. And with that, uh, our ROS2 environment should be ready to use. Uh, still need to make packages and nodes and things, but you've got the basics there. Just having a look at how much space this whole thing used. So I'll do a DFM. And shows a disk space usage. Uh, so I've still got 52 uh, gig left on my SD card. So it looks like I could have done this with probably around a 16 gig card. I didn't need a 64 uh, gig uh, SD card.